Hello everybody. This is kind of an impromptu vlog. I did a poll on Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me, go follow me there. I pulled to see if you guys wanted to see a camper haul and what is in our camper. As you know, it is summertime in Alaska, barely because we've still got a little bit of snow happening, but it's almost gone. <laughs> I have got to fix the hair. It's been, it's been a day of work. All right, I'm not sure the hair's much better. But uh, today's been a little bit crazy. We are headed to Olness Pond, which I've actually never been to. There was a lot of like high school parties growing up there, but it was like 40 minutes out of town. I'm like, why would you drive that far out of town? Um, you don't need to do that. Sounds like a very dangerous situation to me, so I never went. I've heard it's really beautiful out there. I am slightly worried about the like the partiers out there. <laughs> of that but we're going on a Tuesday and Wednesday night so I think it's gonna be pretty quiet out there um like I said I asked Instagram if you guys wanted a, a camper haul or camper tour and everybody said yes so far it is a hundred percent yes that's what we're gonna do Lance has worked on the water he's worked on the heater he's worked on the toilet and he's got it all working really well there's a mosquito on my camera that's how you know it's somewhere in Alaska <laughs> <laughs> the camper is up and running. We are still kind of stocking the stuff, so I figured I'd show you a little bit of like cleaning stuff up, getting stuff ready. We've stocked some food, we've washed all the bedding, um, kind of made the beds. Actually, I still have one bed I need to make. We are basically taking this trip as a just kind of like a test run because we only used this camper one time last summer. There was like a lot of rain after we got back from Anchorage, and so we. Hey, doing? Johnny! Margaret, grab some wood. <laughs> so this is going to be kind of a test run. We're not really planning on doing a whole lot at Olness Pond other than just spending time as a family, hanging out, not doing a whole lot of much of anything, and um, testing out, making sure everything is going because oh, we are taking a trip very soon. Um, we're going to be doing I'm not even sure I should tell you guys this yet. Oof. We're going to be taking a trip. It's going to be kind of the Alaska loop. It's going to be from here to Houston, Houston to Anchorage, Anchorage to Valdez, and then take the other highway. What's that highway called? The Richardson? I think it's the Richardson Highway, right? Oh my gosh. Do you see what I'm dealing with? Is this Why super, are you? Is this super Alaska? <laughs> It's a bucket with a toilet lid, which I also talked about on Instagram because that's how I roll. <laughs> Anyways, we're excited to take that trip. So we're doing a good solid test run on the camper, make sure everything's going good. Um, I think we're gonna have hookups most of the time, uh, which was actually really nice. Our last trip, I didn't realize the sound of generators, how much that takes away from the peacefulness in the middle of the woods. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a little bit more work done on the camper and then I will give you guys a good tour. camper packed kind of a base pack if you guys notice anything let me know if I'm missing something out of the camper but basically this is stocked to a point to where we load clothes we load a few extra things and we hit the road and I'm really excited to show you there is a few things missing one of the beds is not made because I have a mattress protector that is air drying the bathroom curtain is I just washed and it's air drying so there's a few things missing but 
I'll give you guys a little tour. So I will let you guys know the outside is extremely dirty. It is needed to be washed since last year. Um, our pressure washer is not out yet because it just now got above freezing. So we just now, like two days ago, hooked up our hose. Maybe yesterday. I don't know. Not very long ago. <laughs> the outside needs a good cleaning, okay? No judgment there. This is a 2006 Coachman Captiva. Um, it's 32 feet long. Very long. <laughs> we just bought it last year obviously we bought it used so there's just some things we've been trying to get a little bit better like the water um, there was a toilet issue just little things and I think all campers all motorhomes kind of come with little corks and stuff we've kind of just come to peace with um, making sure that it this one is as nice as we can get it and we don't need perfect we just need usable let me start by showing you what we have in the back in the back here there's an emergency door and this goes to the beds in the back there's actually a bunk bed and what's nice is all of this down here is all storage and we can keep kind of the dirty things back there and it doesn't get the whole camper dirty. So let me show you what we got back here and then we'll start on the inside. We've got fishing gear. We have three of these fishing poles, which are really nice. I'll actually link whatever I can in the description. We found these on Amazon and it's like a whole kit. Um, it is a fishing pole that like completely breaks down. It comes with a tiny little tackle box and it comes with a, just a perfect little case to keep their own fishing pole. Um, this is not sponsored, but it is. it will be an affiliate link. It's just been really nice for the kids to kind of keep their fishing pole all in one place it's a little dark but there's two more back there <laughs> we've obviously got a uh, tackle box we have puddle boots for everybody um i am the only one that still needs to put mine in which i should because i'll probably forget <laughs> we also have a stroller just in case and then we have we actually have seven camp chairs back here. Um, they're kind of all tucked in. We possibly have a neighborhood kid coming out and staying a night out there. And so I do have an extra chair in there just in case he comes out. If not, it's just a spare chair. So that's kind of our storage, outdoor storage area. So let's start on the inside. Step on up in here. First of all, Lance got me this little mug. How stinking cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Over here to the right, we've got, I believe this is a queen size bed. Um, there's lots of storage for clothes up here. I'll show you a little bit. I'll take my shoes off here. This is for like hanging stuff. I just have Addison's clothes in there now and her little winter coat. There's obviously a few more there. What, you are not welcome, mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing on that side. Lance has got a little wireless speaker there. So <laughs> this is kind of ghetto. The, the last people did this before us and it's just, it just works. Um, these are blackout curtains because it is daylight 24 hours a day. Because it's daylight 24 hours a day, if you go camping, <laughs> It's light in here. It's daylight. Just, I mean, not like this because I have all the interior lights on, but I mean, it's, it's, it can be midnight and it feels like noon outside. So you've got to have blackout curtains, at least most of it. There is regular blinds on the windows, but it's just, it's just not enough. It doesn't block out a ton of the light, but there is two windows over there. Okay. I'm hoping this can give like a better idea than me holding the camera. But basically, this is like the master bedroom. This does close. Um, it goes all the way across. It's like fabric or like paper. I don't know. It's very thin. It's not soundproof <laughs> in any way. But if you need a little bit of privacy, it's totally there. Just a little recap. This is here. And then you switch around to here. This is the main area. Oh my gosh, I love our little camper so much. Um, this counter is really nice. It's got like most campers, motorhomes don't have this big open area in the kitchen. Normally you have to have a cover. Um, I'm guessing there was one on there because it's got the lip, but we never got that. So um, this is so important. So this does have one really big slide out, which is really nice. It's completely opened up right now from this little dinette here all the way down, if I'm still in the shot, all the way down to here completely slides out. So when we go to leave, we'll slide the whole thing in and it will come, I mean, you, you'll you have a little ways to walk, but it's really nice for the extra area, especially since there's six of us. All right, this is the kitchen. We've got 
a microwave up here. Um, we have a, a three burner stove here. We do not have the knobs on because um, just as a safety with children, kids like to play with knobs. And if you have the knobs on, they will most likely turn them. And if those get turned, propane fills up in here. Um, we do have propane detectors. We've got carbon monoxide detectors, all of that safety stuff but um, that's just kind of a safety thing that we do. There is a tiny little, oh, that's where I put it. I knew I had more pans. No way. I forgot. I knew I had another one of these pans. Anyways, obviously I have not opened that up yet. I'll have to clean those, but um, basically it's a tiny little propane oven. It worked really good for us. All we ever baked in it was cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I totally plan to bring cinnamon rolls again. Uh, they actually have in the freezer section one that you just, it comes in like a pan and everything. It's just a fun treat to have in the middle of nowhere. Um, probably drives the whole campground crazy because it smells like cinnamon rolls. All right, let's get to the nitty and gritty of what's in my cupboards. Um, it's not super organized, okay? <laughs> No judgment, um, but let me show you what's in the cupboards, what I have in here for kitchen utensils. Okay, obviously we got some soap and some hand sani because we're going to be in the middle of nowhere. If you didn't know, hand sani gets sap off of your hands. I guarantee you we're going to need that at least one time. <laughs> All right, the utensil drawer. Um, we have kind of the basics. We have some knives. We've got a, a mixing spoon, measuring spoon, can opener. Can't forget that. I do have a bottle opener. Actually, we have two now because I just found this on Amazon. Actually, Lance did, but it's like a little mini utensil thing. There's a bottle opener, there's a pizza cutter, a shredder, and then a peeler, which is super nice to have all that little stuff. Um, we have a few plastic forks because most of the time we'll be eating outside. We've got a spatula in there, which I do think I need to add another one of those. So that's it for the utensil drawer. Down below, <laughs> We've got, um, these are our roasting sticks, which I keep in the bag just to kind of keep in there. Um, some random uh, gardening gloves <laughs> and a microfiber. We've got all of our kind of like plastic things and some foil. We do have a little set. This is actually a really cool set of bowls. And I don't remember if I got this off of Amazon or not, but they're actually kind of light. I want to say I got this at Walmart. I'll put a link down below if I can find it. But um, there's like four or five different sizes and they all, the important thing is, they all have lids, which is really nice, and nothing's sliding around. That's just the heater down there and some extra parts he has. <laughs> Over here, we've got the larger one of the copper, I forget what these are called, but the copper pans back there. Let me pull it out. One of my all-time favorite things, camping. It's a Percolator coffee maker. Uh, it's kind of cool how it works. I've showed it in a few of my videos. I will definitely be showing it. Um, it's just really cool. You get to see it like bubble at the top. I don't know. It's like a camper vibe that you have to kind of have one of these at least once on your camping trips. <laughs> Listen, mosquitoes. <sighs> No, thank you. Once I get those other pans clean, there was like a cake pan for cinnamon rolls. And then there was the smaller copper pan that will go in there. All right, every house, every camper has got to have like a junk drawer of like just stuff that you don't know where it goes. Prepare your hearts, okay? For only having this thing for a year, it's quite large. <laughs> All right, dun 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 dun. <laughs> It's where we keep everything, like, I don't know, lighters, um, scissors, it looks like extra bait, hand sani, uh, oh, meat thermometer, which I was just talking about getting one of these. This is actually should not be in there. This should be in here. So, um, then there's screwdrivers, there is, I don't know, there's extra parts, just random things, the cord to my griddle. We've got the junk drawer, okay? Just don't know where some of that stuff goes. All right, we've done down there. Now it's time for up here. Again, this is not super organized, but this is one of the most important things to have in Alaska, bug spray, mosquito repellent. They will literally drive you crazy. This one smells so good. Does not smell like normal mosquito repellent. Um, Got some more randomy stuff. We got some, 
We've got some aluminum tape. We got some fish eggs for fishing. Um, we've got a Yeti koozie. I probably will put one more in here, but we've got cinnamon, garlic salt, a chicken seasoning, and then salt and pepper. I will probably put like a burger seasoning because that's gonna be something we're going to be eating pretty commonly. All right, the other side. I have some of these aluminum trays are actually really nice to have out in the middle of nowhere just for serving and stuff. We've got some spray just for like wiping counters off. I have a measuring cup. I'm not sure. Some of this stuff is just in really weird spots. It's where like I put it. These are those like really thin cutting boards um, just because they're lightweight and stuff. So I thought that was a good idea. All right, so this little dinette does turn into a bed. We're going to be utilizing that. This is the couch. It's actually in really good condition and this turns into a bed. This is actually more storage. I'm just gonna that probably just needs to be glued on there. She's a, she's a gem. This is more storage. Um, you could put blankets. You could put whatever you'd like. We have a couple TV trays because it's going to be a tight fit at the table. <laughs> then above the couch here, we've got more storage. We've got our towels up here. And then it kind of just like a junk cupboard. I mean, not junk, but oh, we did get one of these. We need to get that hung up. <laughs> A paper towel hold, towel holder. Um, we have kind of some stuff we can do while we're out there. Um, first aid kit, obviously, because you know kids are gonna slice things open and stuff. We have. We need to get some more games in here. I actually just ordered Skippo that I'm gonna pick up tomorrow. Um, we have charades for kids, which we haven't played before, and then a fresh deck of cards because there's always some missing. <laughs> so that's that one. I believe this one is empty over here. Completely empty. All right, let me show you the fridge. We just turned it on. If you didn't know, fridges take about 24 hours to get up to temp. So we just turned that on for tomorrow. But this is a, it's, it's a pr actually a pretty good sized fridge. I have no complaints and it works. Um, and then the freezer up here, again, pretty good size freezer. These are a must. <laughs> this, this one's old, I could probably take that one down. But these baking soda things for scents, because this fridge is not on all the time, it's only on when we use it. So we turn it on 24 hours before we use it. But if you didn't know, fridges don't smell good. No matter how good you clean them, I bleach it out every time. And it really, really does help with the, with the fridge smell but you know, I don't like smells. <laughs> All right, listen, mosquito, if you could just let me do my video. Okay, so next to the fridge, here is the pantry. Natalie actually organized this for us. It's not gonna look like this once we start moving. I understand that, but she did such a good job. This is good, just kind of snacks and stuff. Um, obviously essentials, s'more stuff is so important. I figured some top ramen because we don't have to turn the generator on to use the stove. It is propane, so we don't have to make noise in case someone needs a late night snack. Yes, I know these are terrible for you, but <laughs> they're just like emergency food in case we need them. We've got some baked beans, maybe some mashed potatoes. We've got, we've got syrup back here and some pancake mix because you know pancakes are a must. Just kind of some snack stuff there. Natalie did this so nice. I feel so bad because this is going to be a mess once we get to where we're going. But just kind of, again, some snacks for the kids and us. And then down here, we kind of have like paper products. These are, <laughs> I will say, these are really expensive, but they are bathroom towels. Um, just kind of like paper towels in a container. They're really handy for the camper. We've got some paper plates and paper bowls. And then we have some plastic silverware back there. Some tissues, paper towels. These these I want to talk to you guys about. If you follow me, get out of here. You are not welcome. Going a little bit Alaska crazy. Um, <laughs> so if you don't know, I love campfires. Lance got me a solo stove um, that I share a lot on my Instagram. I, sh I try to share with you guys here. I just enjoy sitting by the fire, relaxing. I love the sound of it. I love just, just relaxing. It's my way to get away and just kind of like have alone time, have time with Lance. I don't know, I love it. Okay, so these are just actually a little bit different. I got these ones off of Amazon, but they're the same kind of concept. Um, they're little fire starters and they are little shavings of wood. They light instantly, no odor, no chemicals. Um, these are game changer when you're going to light a fire because 
you only need one. I will leave a link for these down below. Go check out the links. I don't know. I'm just going to link a whole bunch of stuff that I think you guys might be interested in. Um, go check it out. All right. That is our pantry. Then we come back here. This is the bed that I have the mattress protector drying right now. Um, some of the kids kind of have their blankets in here. We have spare blankets because it is very cold right now. We actually don't let anybody sleep up here because <laughs> if they fall on top of somebody, that's not going to make people very happy. So uh, this is very small little bunk bed. We use it mainly for storage. They do have a little closet in here, which they've already packed their clothes. So, so cute how they, they have it all in here. I shoved this in here. The only unorganized thing, that was me. But there's that. This was actually Lance's idea. These are mesh bags for dirty laundry. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a great idea because these are lightweight. Uh, it was a two pack on Amazon and we can go and do our laundry. I don't know, there's little things like that that I, I didn't really think of the first time we took this out. We ended up using garbage bags, which is a complete waste. I'm sorry, this is like way, probably way too long of a video, so I'm gonna apologize now, but we're almost done. We're to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, before we go to the bathroom, um, it does have a TV. This is an older one that we are probably going to replace so we can hook up like a hard drive so they can watch movies. There you are again, you little mosquito. Okay, the most important part. Oh, this is so dusty up here. Okay, well, Lance is tall and I, can't reach that. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about this for a second. I actually just bought this coffee pot. Last year we just brought ours from inside the house into here, but one night as I was like in my deep thoughts, you know, <laughs> I was like, what if we got one of those carafe ones that they don't stay on, but it keeps your coffee warm for like up to four hours or something. Maybe it's two hours. I don't know. In our camper, we have to have the generator on to run the coffee pot. And we like to run it as little as possible. Not only does it use extra fuel, but it's loud, you know? Like it's, we do have a quiet generator, but we don't like to cause a lot of noise at the campsites. So this allows us to make a full pot of coffee and we're able to drink it for a few hours. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's such a good idea. All right, she's nothing fancy. The previous owners put this in and I actually really love this. Um, these are a few things that we have, sunburn stuff, um, just kind of some safety first aid kit stuff, um, some alcohol pads, a butterfly closure thing, the spray hydrogen peroxide, mosquito stuff, um, SPF 70 because Alaskans burn so easy. Okay, what I like best about this is that they are all clear and you can see what's inside of these. One thing that I am going to grab tomorrow is Benadryl because you're out in the middle of nowhere and if someone has an allergic reaction, um, it could take 30, 40 minutes to get to the next place to get some help. All right, pretty basic bathroom. I'm not gonna stay too much in here. Um, like I said, the shower curtain is, is drying right now, but it does have a full shower. It does have a little bit of a tub if someone needed a bath like Addison. She doesn't really care for showers. The toilet, that's the magical throne because I'm not a fan of doing things in the woods, okay? Not of that nature. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm slightly a bougie camper, okay? I will admit it, and I'm okay with that. I enjoy being out in the woods. I enjoy the fires. I enjoy everything except for like outhouses, doing that in the woods. Other than that, love being out there. <laughs> There's nothing special under here other than RV toilet paper. You do need special toilet paper for RVs. Um, some tank treatment so it doesn't smell like a sewer in here. Then we've got another mirror. I'm gonna show you what's inside. It's a little medicine cabinet. These, if you don't know, if you've never had like a motor home or a camp or anything, this is a way for you to check how everything is doing. So if you didn't know, in a motorhome or camper, you have this, which you can kind of hit at any time and tell you how much longer you have on your battery, your fresh water, black water, which is your toilet, and then gray water, which is like your sinks and your showers. You hit it and it shows you how much battery you have left. There's that, there's fresh water, there's a black tank, which, this is not right. There's something stuck inside the black tank, which the black tank 
is this guy. It's probably a piece of toilet paper or something. We've tried to like rinse it out and get it out, but it kind of always says two thirds full, which doesn't really bother us. Um, we kind of know when it needs to be emptied. Gray is your sinks. That's completely empty. I know this is long. I'm so sorry. If you're still hanging around, go ahead and throw like a fire emoji or like some logs, a little campfire. Throw that down in the comments because I'd love to know who's actually <laughs> All right, last thing I wanna show you guys that was down on the ground here is a mini grill for outdoors. This is like the perfect size little grill. It's got little latch latches on both sides. Opens up, this is a fully propane. Oh look, Lance Hardy have tongs and a spatula in here. How fantastic. We have used this a ton. Not this one exactly. I, this is actually brand new. Okay, another thing that I love is this is a push button. Um, our other one we had to light by hand. We actually got our last one just like that from a garage sale probably, I don't even know, 12 years ago and have used it so much. So I was really excited to get a new one. Uh, we brought it out to Pedro's Creek. We brought it to Birch Lake, Granite Tours. I mean, it has been all over Alaska, so it's a little bit sad that I'm getting rid of it, but it was well loved, well used. Um, I'm excited to hit the button to start it instead of having to stick a lighter in there because the lighter never fit. <laughs> the latch didn't work because it was just getting old. All right, this is the last view I'm going to give you guys just to kind of get an idea of where everything's at. That is that side of the camper and then this side of the camper here. All right, I'm going to end this one. If you wanna see our adventures that we're going on soon, please hit that subscribe button. We are doing a lot of Alaskan adventures this year and we're really excited to just be outside, be with our family and enjoy Alaska. Thank you guys for coming along on this camper tour. Hit that like, hit that subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye.